The Traditional Persian Cat Traditional Persian is one of several names for a group of cats that are considered to be essentially the original breed of Persian cats before the variety was selectively bred to have extreme features. Other everyday usage names are Doll Face Persian, Classic Persian, Old Fashioned Persian, Long Nosed Persian, Old Style Long Hair, Traditional Long Hair, and Original Long Hair. Hi there, I'm Grace, and welcome to Kitten's Corner. Here we'll talk everything cats, for cat lovers, just like yourselves. If you haven't already, please be sure to paw that subscribe button, and don't forget to like and ring that bell to be notified of future videos. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? What is the average lifespan of the traditional Persian cat? A. 5 years B. 12 years C. 20 years What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the traditional Persian. This domestic cat breed's physical appearance barely changed compared to photos dating back to the late 1800s. However, since some breeders in the United States and other parts of the world introduced the brachycephalic mutation into the breed, the short nose and clear break became shorter and higher. This resulted in the modification of the original Persian breed standard, so that modern show quality Persians must have peak faces. This resulted in the breed disappearing from cat shows. However, this older form of the Persian cat is immortalized in popular films such as You Only Live Twice, Enter the Dragon, and Stuart Little, and its sequels. Origin Persian cats originate from Persia. The cats were introduced in Europe in the 1500s as highly valued items of trade. The Europeans were impressed by the Persian's long silky coat and purposefully bred the cats to perpetuate the trait. Chinchilla Color Mutation The color inhibitor gene mutated in a Persian cross in 1882 in the UK in a cat called Chini. The offspring of this mutation that expresses the gene are commonly known as chinchillas, presumably due to the resemblance of their coat to that of the rodent by that name. They were classified as a Persian variety for breeding purposes. Brachycephalic Mutation The brachycephalic mutation in the Persian breed occurred during World War II in the US. This led to a concerted effort to breed Persians with rounder heads and smaller ears than their ancient ancestors after World War II. The resultant brachycephalic heads lead to the much-desired snub noses favored by many modern Persian breeders, which dictates the modern standard for Persians in cat fancies. Color breeding in chinchilla varieties The subset of chinchilla varieties experienced problems during the brachycephalic modernization phase with regards to the original chinchilla coloring features. These include loss or incomplete lip and nose liners, patched colored paw pads, and eye color faults. Once lost, it is hard, if not impossible, to recover. By the mid-1950s, concerned breeders of chinchilla in the U.S. advocated pure color breeding. A key person in this regard was Jean Ramsdale, author of the book Persian Cats and Other Long Hairs. Breed Recognition History Up Till 2010 Despite the nonconformance to the modern Persian breed standards, some breeders, particularly those who practiced controlled color breeding, continued to breed and register their original long hair cats. The following attempts were made to restore the original long hairs as a breed in their own right, namely Sterling in the International Cat Cat Association and continued in the International Cat Exhibitors in 1998. Chinchilla long hair in the South African Cat Council in 1996. Traditional long hair in the World Cat Federation in 2010. Sterling Standard there is some confusion around the name Sterling. In the International Cat Association, there were some American shorthair breeders who bred to Persians to obtain their lovely silver color and green eyes. The kittens were pretty to look at, but did not meet the true American shorthair type. Jane Martin noticed the effect the outcrosses had on the American type and coat, as well as the attractiveness of the kittens. She proposed a new breed, called the Sterling, because of their lovely silver color. These new cats were to look just like Persians, but with a short, dense plush coat. 
The name was changed to Exotic Short Hair when all colors got accepted in 1979. In September 1992, the English Sterling as a new breed was presented by Jean Johnson at the Tika 13th annual meeting. Follow-up work resulted in the breed with the name Sterling was accepted as Category 1 in Tika in February 1994. The Sterling had Category 1 status only for 18 months before it was scrapped in total by Tika in September 1995. The assumed reason is that there was a lack of buy-in from enough fellow breeders as required by Tika breed recognition rules. Despite this setback, Jeannie Johnson continued by getting the Sterling accepted by the International Cat Exhibitors for Championship status in 1998. The breed had its own registry under the International Sterling Society. However, not many breeders of Chinchilla Persian elected to switch over from the existing Persian standard to the new Sterling standard. Mrs. Johnson died in 2006 before she could get wider buy-in for the breed. Due to lack of support, this Sterling breed does not exist anymore. Traditional Persian cat breed recognition was expanded to recognize all colors after 2010. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. What is the average lifespan of the traditional Persian cat? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is B, 12 years. Well, that's all we have for the traditional Persian cat. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know your thoughts and leave a comment below. We'll see you next time on Kitten's Corner.